This is Lenovo Yoga C740. It's a 14-inch laptop, quite decent. Somehow the windows went faulty. So today in this video, we'll reinstall Windows 10 or 11. The procedure will be the same. And of course, the Windows installation would be in UEFI format. So you need to create one USB installer. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. The video link would be in the description. So plug this in into any USB port. And also during the installation, try to connect the charger. Okay. Power outlet has to be connected because we don't want to see any power cut issues. So for any models of laptop from different brand, for BIOS, they have BIOS key from the functional key, which is from F1 to F12. But Lenovo, most of the time what they do, instead of putting the BIOS into F1 to F12, they always built in a button which is called Novo button. And that is normally located on the left hand side or right hand side of the laptop. But for this model, it's quite funny. As you can see the ventilation, right next to it, there is a dot hole in there. Okay, such a tiny one. So use a paper clip while your laptop is switched off. Click one and it's going to take you directly to the Novo button menu. From the second option, if you hit enter, it's going to take you directly to the bio screen. As you can see, the first page is information. So from here, you can check the model number, BIOS version, NVMe, SSD status, and many more. So we're not going to do anything here. Instead, we're going to go to the second option, which is called configuration. And from there, we're going to turn on a couple of settings, especially USB option has to be enabled. By the way, this screen is touch enabled. So if you use your finger from top to bottom, you can drag and you can choose whatever you want to choose. Okay, by the way, the configuration section, you can leave it default because this one comes in UEFI format. Okay, so as you can see, it says USB boot, I mean USB always on, leave it enabled. That's all. That's all you need to do from the configuration. Now we're going to jump into the security section. So you can do two things either you can press the left arrow to go back to the main menu, or you can just click by your finger right next to the security section. So from here, what you're going to do, we're going to find the secure boot option, which is by default enabled. So we have to leave it enabled if you would like in UEFI. Okay, so this one done. And now we're going to go back to boot option just to check another settings, which is USB boot. So USB boot has to be enabled and then rest. We can leave it as it is. We don't need to do anything else. That's how simple it is, to be honest, you know, and don't worry about any other options to understand because that would be sometimes quite tricky, you know, so leave as it is, save the changes and it's going to turn on. By the way, don't be surprised, it's going to turn into the old settings. I mean, the old windows. So what you have to do, we have to repeat the same procedure again. So what are you going to do? We're going to switch it off again and do the same thing with the paper clip. Make a single click. You can fill it when you do that. And it's going to take you directly to the Noble button menu. At this point, we're going to get into boot menu, which is the third option. So use the arrow key or you can just touch it because this is touch enable and hit enter. And now it's going to show you your connected USB installer. Hit enter again and it's going to load up to the Windows setup page. So select it, hit enter and pretty much that's all. So from here, it's pretty simple. I believe everybody knows that. But for sake of the video, let's keep it running and see at the end if this one get successful. Hopefully you would enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching.
All right, so finally it's finalizing everything and it will be done within a second. Just wait and check. All right, so almost there. And here we go, everything has sorted. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.